Oh. oh god, I wonder how charged my controller is. Full the check. Nah. Who cares? We'll deal with the consequences later if it doesn't actually have a charge. Do 29 p.m. Finally, dude. Oh shit. I like how she was just sitting there the entire time. Just waiting. He didn't even announce her. That she was actually in the area. That's it. We got flowers now, boys. Also, I did play for like a femtosecond last night. Where I booted up to check to see if uh, I could actually stream it to Discord. And then after that, uh, I mean, like, I, what happened was I saw like a random ghost guy. He was like, hey, collect my, my, my coom. Oh, hey. He was like, go and collect my coom. And I was like, okay. And I did that. And then I did it. And then he gave me this jacket. And I was like, okay. So you basically missed nothing. Wrong hole. I don't know what you do with the rest of that hole, so we'll just put it up like that. Let me see, was there anything I was supposed to do? Oh yeah, probably put on my glasses so I can see better. There we go. They have a house now as well. Let's go in and check what they have for for store. For store? For sale. How about you speak English properly, dude? They got a sick welcome mat, they got a sewing machine, they got a, a carrot reading. And a thousand bells for something that looks pretty nice. Pretty good purchase. Dude, that's pretty sick. Mint wrapping wallpaper. Hmm. Oh. 
Nothing else looks interesting. What do I have to sell for you? Uh, I guess I sell all of this. What's hot today? Oh, sorry, turnip prices. Wooden simple bed. Yeah, that looks good. That's gonna be like 2k, because that's not much. 6k. Three times the amount I thought. So that's good. Alright. Let's go and talk to, I think it's Mabel? Yeah. Could... It's either Mabel or Sable. I forget which it is. Leela's sweater dress? Excuse me? This, I keep thinking that says Gangnam. Sticky rice? The fuck? Give me those shoes. Something else. And I guess this. I thought this is a bad game. Okay. Nuke miles. Oh, what is this? Spend bells, okay. Hey, Whisper Island Secrets. Yeah, that's the thing I did last night off stream. Found a little ghost guy, and then he coomed, and then I had to collect his coom. I'm with Sonic and Animal Crossing. I think since New Leaf. I think Mabel's been here since New Leaf. I could be wrong, she maybe appeared like much sooner. Uh, I haven't played every Animal Crossing game though, so I wouldn't know. Epic. Gotta water them plants though. Never played Animal Crossing, used to have it on your DS, just never played it. I 
I had it on one of my really old Nintendo DS's. Oh hey, the bridge was built. Nice. I think I played I played a lot of it when I had it on the 3DS. My character looked towards the screen, so I was going to drop in front of me. Drop over there. There we go. Actually, place down. There we go. Someone else moved in to the, uh, the place. We're gonna check that out. Sam, let's check out the clothes we bought. That's about what I expected. Did they seriously put this in the game? Okay, it's not the it's not the back version, it's not the meme version. It's close, but it's not the meme version. That would have been kind of hilarious, honestly. The fish can light up. It's a cool little thing. What do we have in storage? We should probably take all of our fossils to uh, Blathers now that he's actually open for once. Put all this shit away. Uh, put these peaches away. I didn't mean to drop on the ground. Damn, I do that every single time. Is there any gold to this? I've only seen mo uh, most critical play it. Just get the get girls on the island getting to send sell feet pics. They made lots of bells. I mean, kinda. There's. It's mostly a game about kind of doing what you want in a world with like lots of things to do. So like customizing your home, buying shit, stuff like that, you know? But there are there are still objectives. I didn't mean to drop it. <laughs> So look at this this uh flooring we bought. Doesn't look half bad on this thing actually. I like it. I like it more than this? Yeah, I think so. This is a bit you know, this looks like a carpet instead. Move this over here. Then we should grab all of our fossils. So the game is basically just about like it's busy work. The game. It's a life simulator with humanoid animals, kinda. Ooh, what is that? So basically, you, you go around collecting shit most of the time. Damn, I can't see them behind this tree.
Got him. We'll be getting an RTX 270 around July. Sick. I need to upgrade my PC still. I need to upgrade the CPU and the RAM. Unfortunately, that kind of requires upgrading my motherboard as well, which half sucks. And 63 gigabyte. I have a I have a normal 1080, and it's it's not showing its age right now, but it's it's getting close by the by the looks of it. Oh shit! Yeah. Oh, hi. I would like to assess fossils. Uh, all of these, please. So any surprisingly cheap for what's basically a better 1080 Ti with ray tracing support. I'll, I should have a look into it. If I upgrade my uh, my motherboard and my CPU there and uh, my RAM, chances are I'll be able to upgrade my uh, GPU as well. Alright, so Tricera Diplo uh, Dunkalosis. Oh, I didn't even realize there was multiples. What do we keep? A Saratel, we had two Triceras? Banger deal for what you get, especially with all the software support for VR. Damn, this looks really nice. Question is though, where's the tarantula? I know there's a tarantula in here. I'm pretty sure I gave one to Tom Nook. So I'm guessing all of those are exits. Oh no, they're not. Can you sit on this? No. I wasn't expecting to be able to, but you know. So many exhibits. that it can do auto automatically do up to 8k anti-aliasing for any VR headset. 
really good. Yeah, I can for sure imagine that. That was something I need to work towards. Buying. Unfortunately, uh, money is quite an issue recently. And then he went back to sleep again. Epic. Dude, it's so nice to see the uh, the museum get such a massive upgrade like this. In previous games. Man, it still baffles me this runs on a console that's basically about the same size as a 3DS. Like, that shit's nuts, dude. The wow factor wore off, like, two years ago when the Switch released. I say two years ago, because the wow factor was there for, like, a year. But you gotta think, though. Like, how the hell is this running, dude? Nintendo are just kind of magicians, honestly. Alright, is this where they make the, uh, the viruses? We're gonna spread across the... the island? Animal Crossing Zombie Land? a lot like a, uh, a high-tech umbrella corporation place. I mean, unfortunately, this is, it's pretty empty right now. There's you know, no donations, but you know. It's been a while. You got a shit CPU, but apparently it's actually pretty good. Oops, I didn't mean to go in here. My CPU is kind of garbage. Honestly, it's a uh, i7 4770K, I think. It was like, it's like six years old, dude. That. Huh. Dude, I went to see this entire museum museum completely filled out. Someone's probably already no, you can't. I don't I don't think you can physically fill it out at this point. Damn, they look good actually. I think it, yeah, I think it's physically impossible for it to have ooh. That's really cool. Yeah, I don't think it's actually been physically possible for someone to fill this place out yet. Out yet, because from what I recall, you could only get around four fossils a day. Oh, <laughs> that's neat. That's cute.
Man, that clearly put a lot of work into this area. Jeez, I didn't even see that. Diplodocus. Love how crisp the footstep sounds are. Dude, the sounds in general, oh. So great. Especially like being on like carpet versus hard floor. Neat. That, that's very cool, actually. Very neat. Why am I using a flimsy net? Oh, the sounds are so great. Hey, green colored bench. Thing is playing. I mean, yeah, that's what I want to turn on, you know. Sleep. Or second power nap. Neat, you even got windows. I don't, I don't have windows, dude. I'm a shut-in, you know? Wonk. That's their epic catchphrase. You got KFC's home. It's basically the exact same thing. Except with a different floor. A much nicer floor, mind you. Much, much nicer floor. Can you actually see out the windows? You kind of can. What kind of interdimensional shit is going on with these houses? They're big on the inside and tiny on the outside. We're doing some Doctor Who shit. Oops. Excuse me, ground. Well, I got a cross down. Thank you. So we should have a uh, a new islander today. From what I recall. Yeah. 
pretty sure that's not how digging works, too. That's place is a mess. We just uh, said hello to Twitter. As you can see, he's really let himself go. Definitely not what he used to be. Actually, we should probably keep our net out. Thank you, Nightbot. on diesel we're sucking on diesel now boys Make sure you have your nap when you're shaking trees. Oops. Doesn't mean you have to uh, slam your net on it though. Let's power pull across. Nice way, dude. We should correct destroying all these utilities. I mean, clearly we have size tech in this universe, you know? Size powers. Considering we may our houses are much bigger on the inside. So maybe my pockets are freaking massive. Actually, we should probably go talk to Tom Nook, see what he says. There might be something we have to do. Or something we should be doing. workshop Sending me show over his boomer form. Boom. Form. 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 Boom. I'm late said he didn't want spoilers for Doom Eternal or Half-Life Alex, even though I haven't played them yet. And he spoils them both for himself by watching the entirety of both games. Oh, this is epic.
some people just can't resist, you know? And it's honestly the same for me in some cases, cases as well. Like, I saw new, new chapters came out for manga that I'm interested in. And I was like, I probably shouldn't look this up, you know? Like, it's probably not a good idea to look it up and, and get spoiled. But then I was like, I'm gonna do it anyway. And I did, and I saw, like, very brief spoilers, and I was like, yeah. Okay. I see. Sick. Wow, the Nintendo Switch costs a freaking lot, dude. This basically allows me to buy stuff that I've already gotten once. At least that's what it looks like. He's bringing literally his entire life for a new Half-Life game and he's like, yeah, I know it all, right, all already. Kinda epic. I still haven't played it. No, I still haven't played most of it. But I really keep meaning to. I keep saying I'm gonna play it later. Uh, in the night, and then I don't. Because there's a lot of other things I want to play instead as well. Uh, I'm not trading it for, for this game. This game is a joy to play. Oh yeah, the reason I didn't make a good net is because I don't have any nug any nugs. Just want to wait for a new graphics card so I can get the full experience. It also kind of doesn't run that well for me. But I do stream the game, so... Streaming the game produces quite a heavier load on your CPU. I just realized the camo, no, it's not intentional. I thought the camo was like animal faces. Since there's like a, a rabbit one here, but no, it's it's just, just a camo and one happens to look like a rabbit. Interactivity is mind blowing for the most part. Bombworks kind of did did it before, kind of beat it to the punch, but not in the level that Half-Life Alex does. Kind of got our feet wet with Bombworks. Is there anything else we can craft? What does it take to craft this? Yeah. That's why I didn't make a, a proper new one. this sad boy right here. Alright, if Nuke wants me crafting, I better take crafting resources with me. That should do. Oh. All right. What's up? I crafted your thing.
Home's really fun. But since they had over five years to work on a half of Alex's attention to details ten times better. I disagree. But oh well. Okay. Hmm. That's interesting. You can you can just choose the color. Nice. I give me fifty. Fuck. Bones did do what it wanted to do, but it was a bit jank. I thought it wasn't really jank at all, and it's just astounding. Yeah. I didn't mind the jank in Boneworks. I thought it was okay. So, I would say the most impressive thing... Honestly, the most impressive thing about Half-Life Alex is how visually good it looks in VR. Like, they get pretty... Pretty much spot on. It looks pretty much photorealistic, even on the lowest graphic settings. I still prefer Boneworks in some aspects. I don't prefer Half of Alex like completely. Wow, pastel? Shit. Well, let's just probably swap these two around. What does it mean should I change? Ah, it takes all of my storage into account. It's cool. See if we can craft some some more stuff. Let's see what we can do with the customization on this. Dude, that's nice. Dude, the pastel is so good.
didn't even see any jank in bomb works and tons of it from other people yeah that's not the same but I thought it was mostly fine it's it's the difference between a two-year dev cycle and a five-year dev cycle I think plus and a full proper experienced team you know I still think Bombworks did really, really well. I think I definitely prefer Half-Life Alex. But I think people being like, well, Boneworks is not good anymore. Nah, not, not really. That's what the, the opinion I see most people going by now. It's like, wow, Half-Life Alex is just a better Boneworks. No? Not really. Yeah. Let's customize the desk if we can. Nintendo Switch. Can't customize the desk. I've seen Jack and Alex, which seems to be mainly due to the index controllers. Press seven. Why does turning it to a lesser color require seven? Hmm. Most of what I want to do with the uh, stuff. I'm doing this and not just placing them down and then putting and then going into the uh, expert designer stuff. I can't even customize the velvet stool. Hey, now we can customize shit. That's quite nice. I'll drop. There's like a small delay when you uh, click into the menu. I keep trying to do it fast. I think we definitely need to go and find some nuggets. So we need to go look for some stones. Because we are... Let's see what you do have. I think I already stated it earlier in the stream, but I've got a uh, i7-4790K. Or 4770K. One of the two. 4770 or 4790. Oh! Hello, far away friend. This new DOA recipe was inspired by a scene in a novel I'm reading right now. I'm really enjoying. 
Want to get my idea out into the world, so I put it in this bottle. Recipe is yours to try out. Bamboo floor lamp. I don't think we can get bamboo yet. At least I haven't seen any bamboo. Actually, let me let me put in a flimsy net. Just in case a beehive falls out. Oh god, there's some weeds up there. You usually run stuff better without streaming. Yeah, for sure. Doom Eternal, I can play at max settings just fine off stream. But uh, if I'm streaming, it's I kind of have to go to low. Very, uh... Doesn't like streaming at all. Definitely not the game that enjoys it. Some games are better than others, though. I love to stream, but my internet is way too shit. I felt that for like five years. I wanted to stream so badly for so long. In fact, I've been streaming or trying to stream for well over five, six years. I was stream. I wanted to stream when Black Ops 2 came out. In fact, I did stream when Black Ops 2 came out. I streamed it a few times. It was pretty fun. But, of course, it didn't look very good because my internet was kind of garbage. But that's fine. Where are all the rocks, dude? There's one. I heard a small trick people have. Saw it on, uh, on Twitter last night where if you dig two holes right next to you, you don't get pushed back when you uh, let's see. Yeah, so you don't get pushed back. It's a shame. Oh, I, I keep forgetting we shouldn't eat unless we want to actually destroy the rock, because then we just end up destroying it immediately, and then that's no good. Thank you, Twitter. Most big dick streamers have a second PC for rendering streams. Uh, they have it so they um, their main CPU isn't actually bogged down by the process of streaming. Which isn't that big of a process in general. You don't need a second PC to stream efficiently. It's just, you know... If my PC can run the game, I want to be able to, to run it while streaming. That's that's their prerogative there. Like, hey, I don't want any question if I can stream the game. Because if I can play it, I can stream it. While uh, most people kind of have to go, can, uh, can I stream it as well? Because of the added... Uh, oh, fuck. Next. Oh, at least the at least their hives are the actual ingredient for the antidote. So freaking fools! Those for people like shroud streaming is their life. Yep, it helps definitely. I I was always tempted in getting a second PC explicitly for streaming because you don't really need much, you know. You just need a PC that can handle streaming, which is, you know, it might as well be a laptop, you know?
But then I figured I actually just prefer the convenience of one whole machine. Oh. There's a uh, floating thing over there. You should probably wait for it. I usually prefer having everything within arm's reach of me. All on the same uh, PC so I can just use one mouse to immediately get where I want. Plus I don't even have the room to put on a second PC. Essay set. Well, it's all white now. Where will the rocks be at, though? We should probably buy a ticket. Go to a different island. Then we can probably get uh, a lot more resources. We only have one 60 hertz monitor, and while having two would be nice, I really don't care. I basically can't live. Did I fuck something up? No, I didn't. I thought I fucked something up with my uh, my vi my stream visuals. Yeah, I, I I think I can't survive anymore without a second monitor. I don't really need a third. I would like a third, but I honestly actually just don't have... I don't have the uh, slots on my PC. Genuinely, every single slot, uh, every single visual slot is filled up in my PC. One for my monitor, one for my other monitor, one for the index, and one for the, uh, my drawing tablet. Actually, that's, that's a lie. I uh, I still have a VGA slot available. Uh, but it's VGA. Uh, fuck that. Yes, please. I would like to use a... Ooh. I would absolutely love to use a... Uh... Cable system. What would it be called? It's cable system? Uh, visual system? Display system. Yeah. Definitely love to use a display system that's from like the 19... Fucking 20s, dude. No, more like, more like 20... Early 2010s. I want to get another one at 4040 hertz, but that can wait. I do use uh, a 1440p monitor for my main monitor. That's what I play my games on. Oh, I didn't mean to drop it. You know, I need to give some gifts. How do I give gifts, though? Can I send them by uh I can send this dress. I 
can also send send them a carp. See, we got. Oh, didn't I have another uh, set in here? Oh, oh, I might have sold it. I might have sold the last one I had. I'm just wondering, how do you give gifts in this game? I know you can give other characters gifts and then and they'll they'll wear them or use them. But you've been crafting here for like 40 minutes. You go four by three stretched. Yikes. If it ain't 16 by nine. Uh, damn, I can't think of a joke. I was, gonna, I was gonna say something like, if it ain't 16 by nine, I don't give it a 69, but. Oh, what, what do you want? Yeah, I did. Sick. Sick polar bench. I think you could maybe give gifts via Oosh. Hey, it actually fits the decor of their home as well. Very nice. Can I move it some more? Four by three is actually better for competitive shooters. I do know that. I just don't think I could deal with that resolution. You know, pick it up. We're putting all the way over here. It looks kind of nice. Maybe turn it around. So something like this. Oh, really? Look at me take up two seats like a Chad. I think you can send gifts via letters.
My future self. Just go and write your letter on it. Dear Plucky. Thank, oh, no, uh, B, 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 thank, for, thank, for existing. Add a gift. Only add one. All right. Thank for existing. Done. Master. I mean, I could have just, like, given them the letter myself, but, you know. I think we should go and buy a Nook ticket and then just pillage an island for everything it's worth. And we can also dump this. Alright. Do we have a, a honeycomb? We do. I think we should make medicine. Hey, it knows what I want to make. And the rest of this can just yeet. What did I get? Oh, craft things. I put daily challenges, boys. Oh yeah, Gulliver. Well, you know you want to read it out loud. I did. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Yeah. Don't think you can get over the fact you'll never meet a girl that shouts, I'm cooming during sex. I thought I did read it. I guess I'm stupid. Oh, let's go and buy a ticket. Dude, there was a funny joke I had with one of my ex-girlfriends. Where, like, my when I'm in a relationship, the thing that I do is I'm either insanely cheesy... And like, or I'm fucking brain dead. So, what I would do is they, uh, oh yeah, I went to see them when it was around my birthday. And they were like, hey, you know, it's, it's close to your birthday. Do you want anything? I was like, no. And I said, like, the cheesiest thing I could think of because I have, like, zero social skills. I said, uh, you're present enough. And they were like, oh, that's bad. And I was like, yeah, it's pretty bad, but it's either that or uh, I'm come soon. And we were literally in the middle of the, of a freaking street at like 8 p.m. when I said that. And we just burst out laughing. It also helps you have more context where I'm come soon was like an inside joke we had based on a few Jackbox streams. So I end up being either extremely cheesy 
or just do or say shit like that and there's no in between. I would like to go oh Harv's Island? Oh Harv is someone who who comes in at like midnight. It was after we had just seen uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2 as well. In cinemas. That should, uh, that should time frame that pretty well. Was in July 2017, I believe. Jesus, almost three freaking years ago. Time flies, dude. I've never been in this island before. This is why we brought Madison. That was a pretty fun week with my girlfriend there. Still do not regret it. The first night was pretty iffy, because I had like seven hours of sleep, no not seven hours, like four hours of sleep beforehand. So of course, first time I go and meet my girlfriend, I have like four hours of sleep, I'm tired as all fuck, and I look like the most uninteresting person imaginable. I told them like, J don't, uh, just worry, just wait till, till, till tomorrow when I get a proper, a proper sleep. I assure you, I'm a lot more interesting than I, than I appear. And they were like, yeah, I believe you, because you know I, I've been with you for like a few months. I know. I was like, Oof, thank God you can. You, bu you bought it. I'm not actually that interested. <laughs> Send your ex a picture of me because she uh, she wanted one. What? Wow. Even my uh, my chat doesn't load the full set of that one. Wanted one. Well, then she photoshopped me onto uh, a big buff guy with a six pack. Only oh, recently she she sent me a video for she still has that profile. Sorry, she still has the picture in her profile pic for her Windows account. So whenever she logs into her computer, she sees a sexy bastard. Pretty gamer. I did say to my uh, to my girlfriend at the time. Uh, wait until the next day where I've actually had proper sleep. Uh, but then I ironically couldn't sleep that night. It was so bad. It was quite possibly the hottest day of the freaking earth. Damn. I really wish I could actually not just destroy it instantly. I guess I just shouldn't eat. But we were sleeping in the same bed, and because it was so hot, I didn't want to sweat up the bed, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to get out, and I'm going to sleep on the couch outside. So it was like 5am, and I just walked out, 
uh, went into the couch and slept there for the rest of the time. Okay, let's try this, this trick. Now that we don't have food, I want to see if this is actually beneficial or if it's just like people being people. People do that and then you don't actually move back when you hit it. That works. Feels bad. It was fine, because the next day we actually did have proper fun. Because I wasn't tired of shit. Even though I did wake up at like 5 a.m. like really sweating. And went out and then went into the cold. It was fine. I, I still got more hours of sleep than four. At least. So my, my interesting meter had increased by like 10% by the next morning. Played like a dozen games of Uno the next day for some reason. I suppose the idea of this uh, tech in quotation mark right here. I heard that you get more resources by doing this. So I'm assuming the faster you hit the rock, the more resources you end up getting. I went to the movies when we were there. Uh, there was a kissing scene. I turned and said, "You wish." Even after that, we did end up kissing though, so it didn't work. I avoid. I try to avoid awkward awkwardness altogether most of the time, especially in terms of like relationships. But I tried to do it in a way that that still kind of coaxes the thing that I want. So I would like again. This is also coming back into the cheesy factor. I would try and work it in somewhere. You know, like, like kind of like an excuse to do it. So I wanted to hold my, my girlfriend's hand at some point when we were walking out and about, but I just couldn't find an excuse to. I, I couldn't just say, hey, can I hold your hand? And, I, and Because that's like, it feels kind of awkward. So what I did instead Actually, no, I, I, I find an opportunity, like a golden opportunity. I was like, oh, yes, I can say it now, and it makes sense. Where we actually, when we were walking, we met someone who was disabled and needed help to get to an appointment. And uh, their supervisor was late for something else, like extremely late for something extremely important. And he, and he kind of approached us and said, hey, I need you, can you do me a solid and take this patient, well not patient, I said patient, but I don't, I don't want to call him disabled person, because that's, you know, feels a bit rude, but you take the, this guy to his appointment, and we were like, sure, we'll take the guy to appointment, why not, it lets us explore a bit, and so we did end up taking them, but they were being guided by my girlfriend, who was holding their hand, you know, pull, kind of pulling them along. And when we eventually did get them to their appointment, 
the first thing that I said afterwards was, "Wow, I can't believe they got to touch your hand. Uh, they got to hold your hand before I did." And like that, we were in, boys. Smooth. Plus one. And it actually did work. I say worked as if it was some sort of ploy. But it was more like just, you know, finding an actual way to fit into the conversation well. I don't know why I didn't, I didn't just destroy the trees, honestly. Is there anything else for me to get here? I've kind of just been roaming around. I mean, I guess we can start fishing. I was openly awkward. It's my thing. I am the pun lord. I don't typically mind being like a little bit awkward. I think that's part of the charm is that we both know it's awkward. I usually like to th I like to think of that attitude when it comes to most things where it's like we both know it's awkward, but we both want to do it. So, you know, one of us is going to have to push to get the ball rolling, you know? But typically, I was the assertive type. I'm, I'm the person who kind of moves a lot of the things forward. Or at least I try to. I'm like, I'm like the the protagonist. Not the protagonist. I'm like, I'm like the character who progresses the story, you know? I'm not saying that in like a tooting my own horn type of way. It's just that that's the way I like to kind of go. I like to kind of push. Because I feel like you keep things the same. If you don't do anything, you don't get what you want. There's no pun to be had, I always just shout, I'm cooming, it usually fixes it. I mean, it, shouting, I'm cooming is pretty much the best way to fix any awkward conversation. Because then it turns an awkward conversation from, oof, that's awkward, to, oof, that's awkward, but that's kind of funny. And they probably did it on purpose, even though you probably didn't do it on purpose. But you say, it allows you to save it, you know? I can't remember exactly, I, I wish I did remember fully, but I can't remember exactly what I did when I kissed them. Oh yeah. I mean this one, this one was a bit more forced and a bit more like I less I had an opportunity and more like I had one day left and if I wasn't going to do it today, it was, it was like, well, kiss my ass goodbye now. So we were in the movie for Guardians of the Galaxy 2, the theater, where we were one of the first people in. And um, people were starting to come into the theater, and I thought, hey, we're pretty alone in this area right now. You know, if I'm going to do it, maybe do it here. So I tried to, I think what I said was, just trying to remember. Cause this is one of those things I don't remember too clearly, unfortunately. I remember most of it pretty clear. I don't remember all of it though for some reason. What did I say? Oh yeah, I said before uh, people start coming in, might as well do this. And then I just kissed them on the cheek. You know? So I kind of just, I, I kind of half forced it. It was a little awkward, but it, it worked. And they didn't mind. They were the awkward type, so it worked just fine. And then uh, they were like, alright, cool, I'll do the same. And then they kissed my cheek. And then I went to do it again, and of course, you know, freaking movie magic, we both went to do it at the same time when we kissed. Just as all planned, you know? And it was pretty nice. And then after that, it was easy. It was just like pretty much at the end of every proper conversation we had, we kissed, and that was it. I said that as if we were like snogging every twenty seconds, but we weren't. We weren't. It was more like when it was sensible, you know.
Uh, excuse me, fish. You're gonna go for the food? Bait's right here, dude. Oh my god, he's moving away. We haven't seen any new fishes in quite a long time, dude. I wish we, we did. Do we have fruit? We do. Oh my god. My girlfriend or my ex... Uh, they, are, they are my ex-girlfriend, just to clarify at this point. It was like three years ago. But... Their dad? Their dad was so cool. They're like the chillest person in the world. Like they were, it, they were surprisingly on board with me just randomly coming with them on one of their trips. It was quite nice, and he, he was such a chill dude. We her cuddling in the movies. And to this day, I still don't know how she found my shoulder comfy. It's literally nothing but bone. I have, an, I have a cuddling uh, story as well. I'll tell in a second. What was I about to say about her dad? Because her dad was really cool. They were so fine with me just being there. And that's like one of the more important things. I was kind of, oh my god, this fish. I was mostly afraid of her dad. Because I was like, what does he got to think? Oh no, what if, what if he doesn't like me? I'm going to be there for like a week with them. What am I going to do? And then I walked in the door and he was like, Hey, friend, who are you? There was something specific he did, and I can't remember. He, he talked to me about college and stuff. He said, like, you know, the usual, like, where, what are you doing? Where, where do you think you're going? Uh, where's your life gonna be in 20 years? I was like, uh, 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 good, uh, digital artist. He's like, good, good. Digital artist is good. I was like, whew. Don't tell him I didn't know. Nah, he was, I did say that. I just didn't really know what I was doing. And he was like, yeah, that's what happens. That's the sound be. Oh, this is the story I was gonna tell about him. So we went to a, a restaurant that they commonly went to, uh, that they really, really loved. It was a, an Indian restaurant, I think. I believe it was an Indian restaurant. Because it served all stuff like korma and rice and, uh, fajit not fajitas. That's, don't just say shit because it sounds Indian. Although it might also be Indian. I, I'm real, I don't pay attention to culinary stuff that much. But basically, it was, it was a, an Indian place. And there's only like a few things I like which are Indian. I think we're done here, by the way. Yeah, but there's only a handful of things I like. So I, I ordered korma. But uh, it was a pretty meaty uh, meal we all had. And I, I was fully, fully expecting to have to pay for my own meal because you know it just makes sense being a nice person and all I, I didn't want them to pay for it uh so the bill came and her dad looked at it and like he looked at the rest of us and he was like all right i'll pay it i was like and i asked him how much it was and he said in like a really kind of half funny voice if I told you, I'd have to kill you. And... Dude, it was fucking hilarious. It really kind of showed his tone in, like, general- Oh my- What the fuck? I have never seen that fish. I mean, I've seen it before, but I've never seen it in the game. What the fuck did we dump? 
Uh, I guess an anchovy. <laughs> Who the fuck needs an a bitterling, actually? But yeah, it really shows it showed his his kind of Tony ad most of the time. November Oscar Whisker. Maybe we'd have to kill you, but you never know. Dude, I, I fully estimated that the price of that meal was going to be something like 100 pounds. Because it was an expensive place. I mean, I, I don't know. For some reason, I thought, uh, like, my first assumption was, like, maybe it's, like, 170 pounds. Like, hopefully not. <laughs> I don't want him to pay for all that. But, uh, no, he, he did. And I, I never found out the price. Truthfully. Maybe he wasn't joking. Maybe he would have killed me. Actually, it kind of vaguely annoys me. I didn't actually spend any money. I didn't spend any money when I went over to, to see them. Because everyone kept paying for shit. I was like, dude, you don't need, I, I have money specifically to pay for shit here. You don't need to. So my mom bought the train ticket, both the return and the going there. Everyone else bought my meals and like the shopping. Everyone else like paid for like the tickets and stuff for the movie. It's like every instance I was like, all right, I'll pay for it. They're like, no, 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 no. We are paying for it. I like, but I, I don't want to. It's, it's like, no, we're paying for it. And I was like, okay. So I genuinely spent like zero money on that trip. I maybe bought like a snack or something, you know, like a drink at some point. I think I did. I bought a coffee maybe. I hear, have this blue marlin. Yeah, I was, I was, I was half pissed off that I didn't spend any money there. Mainly pissed off because I didn't want to give them so much to, to work, uh, to, to spend. He just bought my girlfriend's strawberry and vanilla lint chocolate, and I, and I lucked out that it was her favorite flavor and chocolate in general. A gamer. Oh, I have to ask him beforehand, don't I? Fuck. I wanted to ask him about the uh, the blue marlin. I guess I had to ask him before. I guess if I find another one, I can go to him and ask. But like, that's that's a lot of effort for something that doesn't really matter. Does it matter? I'm, I'm questioning that right now. Does it matter? Does it might matter? I'm interested. There, there's the blue marlin. And they look cool. There's a few other things. I remember that we went to a coffee shop. Like an actual coffee shop, not like a Dutch coffee shop that has weed in it, even though they were Dutch. But we went to a proper coffee shop. And we also went up one of Edinburgh's bridges. It's a very famous one. Well, it's not, it's a very noteworthy one. It's beside one of the castles, or the castle. I'm not very familiar with Edinburgh. I'm gonna be real. So. But I do, I, I could probably tell you where we were. If, uh, if I was there again. What, what stores we went to. I wanna sell shit. I will offer you all of this. Hmm. 
Mm. Got it. Dude, there was a pretty... I wouldn't say a horrible situation, because it's kind of... It'd be half rude to say that. But it was like a, an uncomfortable situation. Where... Uh, they were all out seeing one of their relatives. And obviously I had to come with, because I, I couldn't just... It would be, be bad if I just stayed at the, the hotel. So I came with them. And it had no, nothing to do with their relatives being bad or anything, or like them doing anything to me. It's just that... When we went into, when we went to sat down outside of a uh, small little bakery. Let's see. Well, what do I want to do, by the way? Let's put stuff away. But when I went to, when we all went to sit outside of a bakery, I was wearing a leather jacket, a black leather jacket to be specific, because black uh, uh, contacts heat a lot better, or worse in this instance where I was in direct view of the sun and my skin does not like the sun so I had to like scrunch half the time so that my neck wouldn't get freaking burned off and it, I had to sit there for like an hour in direct sunlight and everyone else was half in shade and I was like I don't want to swap places but I'm not going to be rude and ask I don't want to put them in it and eventually, like, they did ask, like, hey, are you okay? You look a little, like, a little... I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. It's just, you know, the sun. The sun being, doing stuff. And they're like, okay, you know, we can move if we want. And I was like, no, 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 no. I am a-okay. When, like, I was half dying inside. Half. It wasn't, it still wasn't horrible. I think just beforehand, we also then went... I think it was just beforehand or just after. We then went to a comic store, actually. One that was around the corner. We, we saw it and we were like, hey, that looks pretty cool. And a bunch of, like, original edition comics. It looked kind of dope. Who's my bait? Hmm. Oh, I got uh, stuff for a reason. Here's all my iron ore. I kind of wish you could craft from inside your storage. I said it last stream as well, but I, I'd still stick by it. I wish that everything in your storage you could craft with. You didn't have to take it out, but you do. Ah, uh, it sucks. You're all trying to one-up each other because she was crazy romantic, so... She did the classic stretch and wrap with your arm around them to me. And I got mad because I was at the exact moment going to do that to her before I saw her stretch, and I didn't want to interrupt her. Great minds think alike, dude. Dude, this is the classic. I didn't do that, but it's truly a classic. Never, it'll never grow out of style. What else do we need? We probably need to make another stone axe soon. But I'm not gonna, because I have no care for my future. Oh yeah, the cuddling story I was going to talk about. So I also wanted to call, her, call her my girlfriend at some point during the trip. Like there were a lot of things, like personal goals I wanted to do. It wasn't not, not like goals, but more like, you know, just things you wanted to do. One was like holding her hand, one was kissing her, one was cuddling, and then like... You know, you just, you just got to find the right moments for all of them. What was I in here for? Actually, don't know. What did I auto? What did I autopilot in here for? I went to sell, but I don't have anything to sell. Oh, I wanted to go to Nuke. That's it. Okay. 
So, you know, I, I found a place for the hand holding, I found a place for the kissing, and then, like, the last piece was the cuddling, you know, like the last infinity stone. So, I thought, where do I, where the hell do I do that? And it was after, it was on the same day as we watched Garden of the Galaxy, so it was the same day I kissed her. And by that point, it was like day three, and we were already pretty much perfectly fine with each other. Hang on, let me scratch my ear. Oh, oh he's telling me to just do whatever I want to do. Not true. Can't be. I need to be told. I need to be given instructions. Yeah. So yeah, it was the same day we watched Guardians of the Galaxy. Two, that is. And so I... We were actually really tired. We went home and it was like midnight and we just immediately went to bed. We sat there, I said to her, so you come here often, jokingly, so shit, I hope we will be. Your own girlfriend cuffed, cuffed me. Incredible. Hmm. I'm just thinking of how to, how to formulate it. I it was like three years ago. I need to actually like recreate the scene in my head. Oh, yeah. I believe it was around midnight, and we were so tired we just kind of couldn't be asked to doing much. So we just said, "Hey, we're just gonna go to bed," and that was it. I thought, you know. I kind of still maybe want to cuddle a bit, so I'll, I'll try that out. And interestingly, they actually knew pretty much already. Either they wanted to do it as well, or because they saw the sign pretty quickly. Where, because we were sleeping in the same bed, uh, I put my hand about where their shoulder was. Or like around where their armpit was, like kind of... Trying to get, as if it was implying to get my hand under. And immediately they were like, they turned around and let my, and they just kind of let my hand slide under. I was like, oh, okay, sure. So they knew pretty much immediately. And I was like, that's good. So we just kind of sat there for 20 minutes, cuddling. Not sat there, laid there. Oh, I didn't mean to pick that up. It was nice. I mean, it was nice until my arm literally, like, tried to kill itself because I did the, the rookie mistake of putting my hand under their, uh, their armpit and not through their, through their neck. So, by, like, 20 minutes in, my arm was, like, 20 forms of pins and needles, and I'm pretty confident the blood circulation was, like, about to die. So, unfortunately, I, I eventually just had to, like, nope out of that. And I didn't realize why my, like, like what the solution was to that at the time. So, at that point, we just kind of went to sleep. Oh, yeah, I got to do it, and I was happy. Even though my arm freaking hurt afterwards. But it was pretty eventful. We can. Did we went to a comedy show one of the nights? I think it was the night after or the night before. Dude, I predicted this exact consequence. I was so worried that I wasn't gonna laugh at the comedy. But I did. It was actually really funny, actually. Dude, this fucking track. <laughs> what is this track? <laughs> huh. 
How I know I liked her was when I threw a, a Jew joke at her and she actually laughed. That's when you know. I think, I, I'm pretty sure I met them through Overwatch. <laughs> like, we played a few dozen matches of Overwatch. Oh, uh, no, we, we were in the same shitposting label. I used to have a shitposting label with a few dozen friends where we'd create crap. But then, they at some point, they asked to play Overwatch. And I was like, hey, let's, let's, let's we can play some Overwatch. So then we did, and I was like, you know, they're pretty cool. No, not the big one. No, not the big one. What do we do? I know this is a game about doing whatever you want. Like, what do we do? That's always my, been my struggle with Adam Crossing, is finding things to, to do. So we can just sit here and collect resources. I, I'm, I'm fine with that. I, I, I want to progress towards something. I think it's because, like, we're kind of in the middling point right now, where we're currently in the middle of unlocking a ton of shit. Like, unlocking the stuff we need to truly get in debt. But we haven't reached it yet. So we can go around and fish. Maybe. Do you sell anything new or do you sell the same stuff? You do sell the same stuff, unfortunately. I heard that if you buy uh, a lot of their stuff, they're more likely to set up shop here. And you know, I, w I want that, so. Because I want a permanent clothes store, that'd be quite nice. Do these look better than... Maybe. I said a relationship that didn't work out in the end, though. She was basically perfect for me. Especially with the juju hooks. I said my relationship didn't work out with, with uh, yeah, the person I was with as well. But it wasn't the worst. Thanks for your lecture on a wooden block table. I don't think I've ever thought about the benefits of a wooden block table such as that. The person I was with was pretty into offensive humor as well. It was quite fun. It's the benefit of being a, of having met them on a shit posting label. Because it was entirely based around humor, and so we all kind of knew each other's humor. Shit just worked. figure out what to do here. Who broke up with who? I broke up with my girlfriend because she became too way too much of a control freak. Uh, they're the ones who broke up with me. And I didn't really know much about it. Like I don't want I'm not gonna go into massive detail about it. But effectively, what I think happened was they were interested in someone else. 
but they didn't have the guts to tell me about it. Or at least, like, give me, like, a legit reason. I think, because... Actually... No. Yes. No, yes. Yeah, that's about it. I don't want to butcher it, just in case. But I'm pretty sure that they wanted to go with someone else. And, uh... They just weren't confident enough to admit that to me. Because I, I wouldn't mind, honestly. Like, I, I really like being with them, but... I would have been upset. But I wouldn't have been, like, as upset as I was when she told me. Originally. Got him. Because when she originally broke up with me, she basically kind of offered me a bunch of excuses. Where she was like, Oh, the distance between us is too far. Or, like, you know, we, we just don't resonate. Or something like that. I can't, remember, I can't remember exactly. It was along those lines, though. Like, the distance between us is too far was the main reason. And I was like, that's, that's not a reason. We're quite possibly closer than most people would be in this instance. Like, we're just, like, one boat right away. But they eventually, I, I stopped prodding and just kind of thought, whatever, if you're, you're not going to give me an answer, I'm not going to bother. But then, like a few months later, I find out from one of my friends that they actually went with them. Like, my, my, my friend uh, directly came up and told me, hey, sorry to say this, but I'm with your ex, and I've been with your ex. It's just about when you broke up. So th th they were a nice guy. They, they didn't want to hide it. They were like, I, I, they felt really bad for hiding it. And so they just directly told me. It also doesn't help that I kind of half found out beforehand. Because the my ex actually kind of spilt the beans a bit. In a public chat saying they were with someone. So I found out, and then, like, obviously the, uh, new boyfriend, aka one of my friends, was like, so yeah, it's me, sorry. She kind of wanted everyone to hide it from you. And then he just kind of told me everything about it. He said, well, I think we got together about less than a week after you went with, uh, you two broke up. I was like, oh... And that's when I kind of sussed that they probably wanted to go with them instead. Which was acceptable. I just kind of wish they told me directly. Instead of offering me excuses. Because it was, it was very obviously the whole, like, the whole distance thing. She told me where, like, oh, we're too far, we're too far away. That's when that really got laid to bear. Because she was from the Netherlands and I was from the UK. So we were like, we were literally like a boat right apart. Pretty much. But she went, the person that she went with afterwards, my friend, he was from America. Which is a considerably farther distance away than the UK. So that was what really, it's like, well, you know, how am I supposed to believe that you're, you're really talking about distance as the problem? When you went with someone who was literally like three times farther away than me. Even more, like four or five times. I didn't actually say that to them. I just said it to myself, basically. Because we didn't actually really talk again. You met girl and that was the best person I've ever met, but due to distancing and not being able to see each other often at all, but luckily we're still good friends. Two out of three of my relationships relationships ended pretty badly, like that. Those the, the that one and another one is are the ones that ended pretty badly. But one of them I had ended pretty well actually. In fact, it was kind of like a mutual end. And after that, we were friends for like a year. What really? Yeah. 
Feeling like Breath of the Wild here, dude. Yeah, the one I, the person I was with before, the one I've been talking about. We, uh, I broke up with them just because we, we weren't really interested, I guess. Like, we'd been together for about a year or two, and we weren't really that interested anymore. I just said, hey, how would you feel about breaking up? And they were like, I wouldn't mind. And we were like, all right, well, if, if we wouldn't mind, then we may as well, you know? And so we did. And then we were friends. Because we basically just treat each other like friends anyway. They're never good at opening up to people and I don't really ever feel that upset anymore. I kind of felt like that, felt like that after my first relationship. Then I kind of got over it. And now I just open up to people who... Uh, most of the time anyway. I have literally like 70... No... That's a lie. I have literally like 50 days worth of content on my VOD channel and my streams that I've opened up to anyway. So like, if I'm gonna open up in streams, I should, I'm gonna open up in, in people anyway. What am I doing? Actually, I'm gonna check how much uh, wood we have, because I'm pretty sure we've been farming wood for a little bit. Yeah, we got, we got a lot. How much uh, nook moss do we have? I would like to go to another island and empty that out. Gives us something to do. I also need a lot, lot more iron. Hmm. Oh yeah, I need to craft a new axe. That requires this, this, this. I think that's it. I really don't think we need to farm uh, wood. No, not wood anymore. We had some pretty drastic things happen to me in the past. I don't feel like an emo or anything. So no restrictive emotions. I did feel that way for a little while after my first one. For about six months, I was pretty emotionless. But then I got over it. No, not drop! Did I make the axe? I did. Stone axe. Sick. I've been quite in several years. Hmm. Yes. There's uh oh we should probably make more money. We do have an objective. We can we have to make money. How do we make money? Fish aren't really the best way to make money, actually. I mean, I would like to sell some of this stuff anyway. Actually, let's let's do a, a museum run. Let's see if we'll take any of this uh, any of the stuff we have. Is this everything we need? Yeah. And then we'll go to an island and get some stuff. Maybe talk to a few for villagers in the process.
I think you make a lot of money by selling fruit. I would like to assess fossils, please. Engine number one have not appeared in our collection. Nice. Actually, hang on. I want you to tell me about one of these. Yeah, what? <laughs> you have a question of girl? No, I'm almost certain she has a question of me, but I'm really in between. I feel like taping, taking a step further might ruin that. I stopped caring. Honestly, like, I stopped caring about, uh, not taking it a step further, because I, because most of the people I am truly friends with will understand. And I'll, I'll understand as well. Like, if I ask and they say no, I'm like, alright. Fair enough. Let's see, is there anything else I want to know about? I mean, I would like to... Can I know about wasps? Meat bees? I didn't know that. What about the honeybee then? Bees right now i'm pretty confident like a few years ago or maybe a year ago everyone was really worried about the extinction of bees and wasps maybe not wasps maybe just bees i mean, I'm, I mean people have been worried about it for ages honestly i think rightfully so because we kind of need them Then we can sell the rest. I don't trust this. I will definitely run some multiple drug cartels. <laughs> Honestly, probably. Yep, 
Everyone, why so tired? At night, he he runs all those drug cartels. I got sent a link, which is TikTok cringe. Epic. Here, I'm gonna give you a wasp. Enjoy. That's more than I expected. We need a hundred more K. Unfortunately. I'm so glad you could push them out of the way now. You couldn't do it so easily in previous Animal Crossing games. It meant you could get stuck between them. I would like another ticket, please. I mean, I'm not sure if this is the most effective way of doing things, but who cares? I wonder how much uh, wood would go for. You know what we should do? We should probably... Because I remember the hot item of the day is a bed. I think it's the bed that we have. But if we make a bunch of beds, couldn't we sell them for like an exorbitant amount of price? Amount of price. Incredible. A lot of money. Honestly, it's actually quite impressive how well they managed to weave character's personality into pretty much every line they do where you can easily tell that he's just like a muscle freak a workout freak yet they somehow managed to put it in so nicely so smoothly sometimes i feel like when people have to write so i can tell them to fuck off whenever i want that people just won't believe you it's like the uh the boy who cried wolf you know it's so weird how sometimes you can actually hear them speaking properly. I do know that the, the, how they do the animal language in this is they have a synthesizer that does the vowels. And then they, they random, randomly inflex them. And then they speed it up. So like they are saying what they're saying. It's just in, in very kind of synthesized. Oh, we've been to this island before. I think. I think so. Oh. Then I should, I'm cooming in a big crowd and fix it. Oh no! That is not gamer. That is the opposite of gamer, dude. I had like a gut feeling that was gonna happen as well. I was I was about to say, imagine if our axe breaks here. It's like it happened, dude. Oh, 
Thank you for the flimsy axe. Uh, we do need uh, nuggets. So let's go and 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 get some nugs. Guess we do it this way. Yeah, I don't know how effective this trick is. It might not be effective at all. I'll really have to look it up, I think. Because it might work. It might just be guff, though. It does seem to... I mean, it's it's convenient, at the least. Because then you can just focus on, on mashing the button instead of... You know, walking forward as well. Because you get pushed away whenever you uh, hit one of these. So the hole stops you from getting pushed away. Or the holes. And sometimes it does that anyway. Yeah, see, sometimes you get less resources, I think, if you do it slower. Hmm. But then can't I just move forward? Like, doesn't this trick get defeated by the purpose of just moving forward? It's like, hey, you're solving a problem you can solve by, like, building your joystick, dude. I think that's maybe. We'll try that. Just do what we've been doing normally. Oh, because then that happens. So it's time-based. Okay. I get it. Yeah, the stones are time-based. We should also be careful this is a flimsy axe, not a stone axe. This is gonna break any second now. This is these are not sturdy. Oh, let's craft the proper axe. We need wood. Give me axe. I want axe. During, during the Cold War, America wanted to drop medium-sized condoms over the art over the enemy and label them as XXL. So can make the enemy think that Americans and enemy was, was superior. Do they actually want to do that? Because that seems hard to believe. <laughs> Like a, 
a benefit to leaving trees up or just not ruining the island, you know? Because uh, admittedly, we are kind of just fucking up the island big time by doing this. Yeah, we, honestly, we should probably try making beds and selling them. I think we're going to do that next. Guys are extremely self conscious and easy to win over with, that, with shit like that. When people saw it, what a farce it was. What did what did Anton Hand call it? It was uh, something uh, masculinity. Basically, like make uh, the whole tone towards men for having to be masculine and stuff like that. Almost. Well, that's why we pack this. Uh, I said that's why we pack that, not why we drop it. I wonder if every island has like a, a guaranteed chance to have one of those or if it's a small chance on every tree like a 5% chance for every every tree because I don't and I, I'd imagine there's also like a reprieve with it where you can't just get like four of them in a row even if the chances are extremely low. I'd imagine it's like 5% chance. Plus, if you find one, you don't get another one for like... 5 trees. Guys joined the World War to prove they were strong after all. And many of them didn't come back. Not because they went to prove they were strong, but because wars are bad, dude. Local man solves wars by saying wars are bad. If only we'd known sooner. Dude, remember when in January it was looking like World War 3 was like pretty much gonna happen? And then a lot, and then a lot, lot more happens. 2020 best year, boys. Well, another year we all die. How much stress that puts on the uh, the tool? Two armies you wouldn't mess with the Australians and the Russians. I wouldn't mess with any army. I kind of don't want to get fucked up. What the hell is that? It's a tadpole. It's just a tad small. Wow. Oh, 
where is my... Tree branch, five tree branches, that's not bad. Fishing rod, boys, let's go. A new clean one as well. Nope, a bit higher up. Epic can time. That, that fish right there just snuffed away my freaking lure. What a, what a, what a bad boy. Dude, this dude is just, just, I want you. I how our government is willing to spend over $380 billion to keep businesses open during the virus. Where's that money when they tried to give us better internet? Honestly, I'm kind of glad that... Well, like, I was about to say I'm kind of glad the virus happened, but that is absolutely not true. As, like, heavily out of context statement coming straight from my brain right there. I'm, I'm, I'm more meant to say, like, I'm glad the virus is exposing the bullshit that governments and businesses have tried to pull for the past like 20, 30, 40 years. I'm so glad that people are finally becoming wise and they're having to do lots and lots of things. Uh, the businesses are having to do lots and lots of things which are really just exposing them. Like the whole uh, working from home thing, where you're pro like if you were uh, a working citizen who had a job that the, you're, you were told you couldn't work from home, and suddenly you now can. Oh, abruptly all of a sudden, and like nothing changed. It's just that the businesses wanted you to be there so they could like control you. So they had a monopoly over what you were doing. Yeah, I'm glad that a lot of shit's being exposed. And honestly, it's it's a little bit scary how our economy is basically... I mean, it's not about to tank, it basically already has tanked. Where everything that's kind of kept us stable for the past 30 years has suddenly kind of gone to shit. Every big massive moneymaker now doesn't mean jack. Like, for example, movies just doesn't like movies don't really matter anymore in terms of making making money there's nothing they can do to make uh, to make money about with them now <clears throat> so they're having to find new ways to distribute their movies which is progressing our uh well just progressing how we view or how we view movies not in like how we like see them from a metaphorical stand of view but more like how we like physically actually see them Since they're now having to put them online instead of uh, in actual theaters. After the silver, our economies are going to be reworked and China's hopefully going to be butt fucked. 
I mean, I hope at the very least, when we get over this, people will remember all of it. You know? Like, it all gets remembered and we all keep a close attention. Or a close eye. On what businesses do from now on. Because if they try and pull the same shit they pulled on, on us for the past 20 years, the stuff we got used to has finally been exposed thanks to the virus. I'm hoping that everyone's going to be like, yeah, no, that's just not going to fly anymore. You're saying that I can't do my job from home? No, you, you, clearly we can. Uh, and just generally stuff like that. And of course, really bad economies like China. Fuck themselves. Soccer fish. I imagine this is worth a, a pretty penny. But big rip to our economies. Everyone who, every business who got too comfortable is suffering for it now. Swap with the T base. Wow. It spawned fucking Tiny McGee right here. But part of me hopes that the big world powers just say, unless you change the democracy and remove your current leader from power, we'll go to war with you. I mean, I don't want war in general, and I don't want, like, provocation of war. You know what we need to do? We need to prepare for pandemics. Like, you may think, oh, well, I mean, we, we kind of do, you know? We don't. The scary thing about it is, we, we actually really don't prepare for pandemics. We kind of, it's one of those things we kind of brush to the wayside, where it's like, they're gonna happen, but let's not say they're gonna happen, you know? Where people just haven't accepted yet that pandemics are inevitable. We're gonna get like viruses that that are, are a threat to our, our our civilizations and a threat to just our general populace are inevitable. They will happen over and over and over again. Every 10, 20 years. And the fact that we haven't started preparing for that situation. It's kind of ridiculous. Because we prepare so much for war, for military, for other world disasters like like terrorism and, and, and policing. I say, I say policing is a civil disaster. I mean, all the stuff that you, that's usually meant to protect us from ourselves. And we never really protect us from the actual elements. Like, no one cares about global warming. No one cares about, uh, well, I say no one cares, but I mean, like, no one consistently cares. Like, no one really, we're not actively trying to solve it a majority of the time. Some people are. Again, I'm not, it's really hard to describe, like, the general consumer slash populace, like, the general person doesn't really give a shit about global warming. When it exists. And it ha it's happening, and... You know, in, it's, it's bad. But I'm not going to rant to you about, about that. 
But I will rant to you about how it's a good example on how stuff that isn't really a danger to us directly, no, stuff that isn't us, we don't really care about. So like pandemics, diseases, uh, global warming, stuff like that. We never really pay attention to them that much. And if we do, it's it's usually like kind of brushed aside most of the time. But stuff like war and terrorism, rightfully so, by the way, is very focused on. I'm not saying it shouldn't be focused on. I'm not saying that attention should be diverted from that. I'm saying that we should also be paying attention to everything else. Global warming is technically in our control. We caused it. It is. But it's something that's so indirect that nobody ever really pays attention in a similar way. It's in a similar way to, to diseases most of the time where people don't really care. Commonly. I mean, and again, I need to put a lot of asterisks. I don't mean that people like aren't trying to solve it and aren't trying to care. I mean that the general, the general person doesn't really pay attention to it. And it isn't something we're actively looking to solve as a, as a group. I would like to sell. I should have assessed that fossil. Meme makers predicted the shit out of it. Honestly, this is gonna sound pretty like 4chan boomerish. No boomers, 4chan zoomerish. But meme makers and like memes tend to place things in a much realer light most of the time. So like if a meme gets made about global warming, typically it's like, man, I can't wait for global warming to fuck us and shit down the bed and rise the water level so much we have to live underwater. And it's like, yeah, that kind of, that's kind of half true. I mean, not living underwater, that's exaggerate. Like, the memes exaggerate it, but typically they go along the right path of being a lot more real about it. Fossil away, dude. What can we make with the can? We gained a new DIY recipe when we got the can. Piano. Is that what I expected? Where's the bed? Wooden simple bed. Wooden simple bed. I'm gonna go and talk to the nuke guys again. I want to see if this is the object they were that they want. Is this so we can make a ton of it? Or I think we'll. Yeah, we'll make. We'll, we'll go in. We'll make one. We'll sell one. See what that price is, and see if it's worth building a ton of them to then sell. You know, like the optimizing a bit. Why does it have to be so hot in Australia? Dude, the temperature has been all whack here as well in the UK. Wouldn't simple bad. Like, if the bed is like a thousand per bed, I'll probably build a few. I don't know if it's worth it then, actually. It seems like a big waste of resources. If it's more than that, I'm much more likely. If it's less than that, I'm not doing it.
Because we can only make a handful anyway. I wonder if the game looks for context, by the way. Because it seems to know what I want to craft every time I, 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 I go for it. Although I did just look at the bed, so maybe it just saves what you last looked at. So it's kind of like coincidence. will you give me for this wooden symbol bed? What the fuck? <laughs> Fucking me's like, hey, if it's over a thousand, we'll do it. Mm, by the way, uh, here's four and a half thousand. It's kind of a mega worth. I have a hundred wood. Have you seen the movie Wreck? I have not. Only 11 wood left. When did we get 99,000 bells? I would like to ABD. So we need uh, ninety seven thousand more. Fun footage, quarantine zombie horror. I usually don't watch a lot of uh, a lot of horror movies. I did watch uh, it twenty seventeen though. Great movie, honestly. You guys are gonna get a lot of beds today, by the way. Bells? Why 21,000? I thought they were 4k each. It didn't really scare me all that much. Yeah, I wasn't really scared by it either.
Come for the feels more real. I probably wouldn't be as uh, into fan footage. I like to give you these beds individually to get the maximum amount. Or is my math wrong, actually? No. You know what? I think my math is wrong. I think he was giving me the proper amount. And my math was just terrible. That was, I said 4.5k, and it's actually like 4.3. So, I think my math was actually just wrong. Yeah. And he was giving me the correct amount. Math bad. doing it right. I was just doing math wrong. Fresh tools. I don't think cinematic because it has to be grounded to, uh, to reality, which under the right circumstances work way, way better. Under the right circumstances, I'd imagine so. I didn't mean to, uh, to redeem Nuke Miles, but we'll have a look. Customizable phone case kit. I kind of want that. We watched Wally -E recently. Oh, the best movie ever made, dude. Wally. -E? Wally -E is actually probably one of the best movies ever made. It is. Super good. Like solid 9.8 out of 10 material. How much more do we need? Uh, let me six. So 70, 76 K. Yeah, I would agree with that. Dude, is the chicken still crafting in here? Oh my fucking god. You better be making the world's greatest creation because you are spending hours on this. Can my bold Moomoo look any better?
but they are literally crafting for like two billion years. Insane. Just roll the fish out, dude. Let's plop that down there. I'm white. Ooh. Oh, I thought it was something cool. It wasn't. To, to start fishing on the outer side so we get bigger bigger fish You know, I think the next step Animal Crossing should take is allowing things to progress through days instead of after every day. Because I would love to uh, talk to one of my new villagers, but he's not going to be done unpacking until tomorrow. So it sucks that everything kind of everything's on like a, an artificial timer where things don't move forward until a day passes. It's not the worst thing in the world, but I do wish that uh, stuff would progress midday, like this dude. He's still gonna be unpacking, ain't he? Once they get that close behind you, there's pretty much nothing you can do. But we can't really shake many trees anymore. So if we try, we're probably going to get donked. boy what a little bit further that way oh that might have that might have God's attention there we go oh freaking See butterflies, dude.
I wonder how we can make 70k quickly. It's not like we need to anyway. Thank you, Berling. That's literally right on top of you, dude. And he wasn't interested. What am... What I do? Fucked up! Ah, uh, I predicted it instead of reacted. It's, it's just a habit you get into sometimes. Sometimes you accidentally press it. Subconsciously. I'm not going to see that. Let's position it here. Boot! Yeah. Epic boot moment. Damn, gamer. Thank you, Loach. There's a big boy right there. Why'd I do? Why'd I do that? No! Man, I'm bad. Wasn't even intentional. Give me all these manila clams, please. I would like them. There we go, one over. Man, I am freaking hungry right now, dude. I've been hungry for the past, like, three or four days. I haven't really had many proper, proper meals. It's not that I don't really have food, I just haven't really had the time. Or the, the care. Usually I end up doing something that I can't really... Yeah, I just never really have the time to.
What? A bit, a bit up? Here we go. Oh, really? I thought vanilla. I thought vanilla clams would have stacked. So let's let's craft first so we can make the uh, fish bait and get some more space uh, this isn't the crafting table There we go, I just need to craft like four billion of these. So much freaking fish bait, dude. Oh, we still have like three more to make. I suppose this does allow us to uh, get an equal amount of spaces filled for uh, our fish. The more fish we have, the more... Well, I mean, if we get a bunch of manila clams and then we turn them all into fish bait, then logic would state us. Logic would state we would then have that an equal amount of spots to use the fish bait, fish bait on. Now that's an extremely poorly worded sentence, but okay, I, know, I think you know what I mean. You understand. Please. It's a big boy. Shame it's a freaking ba uh, bass, not a anything good. I mean, isn't this a body of water we're fishing? My boy, dab. I do love me a dab. Some more freaking bases, dude. Bases, basses. I've said it wrong pretty much every single time in these Animal Crossing streams. Oh my god. Also, the trick with fishing. In Animal Crossing, if you're struggling with it, is basically you. Uh, I don't look at the screen. Every time that I've prematurely pulled out the reel, uh, it's been because I was looking at the screen. I was looking for the the, the dunker to go down. Oh, 
but if you don't look at it, and instead you listen for it, so I, I actually look away from the screen so I don't get distracted by the, the actual dunker doing the donkey's things. The bait. But if you listen for it, you typically will be able to, uh, you'll never miss. You might be late, but you'll never, like, pull it early. A mackerel, nice. Oh, we're full. I thought we weren't full. Let's go and sell all these fish for the impressive, impressive price of 9k. Because that's he doesn't give us anything for food for fish. Also, turnip prices? I don't think I've seen a single turnip in this game. Is that everything? Yep. This gave me good money. Oh my god. That's not good money. All of that for 12k. And I could get that when I make three beds. We didn't even open the gift. Epic. Thank you for clay. We could probably put it like... Here, maybe. Here we go. Let's check our storage real quick. We don't have much wood anymore. Hey, we got three wasp nests. One boot. Single boot. Let's make a bunch of medicine. Make through medicine. Uh, we won't use up a medicine here to cure us right here, though. Not much of a point. That's completed. Don't put the fish back away, put the uh, medicine away.
Let's pick this up and let's actually send it to uh one of our our, our friends so friendos, sorry. We'll send it to, to this person, that person there. Yeah, if we're gonna send one letter, we may as well send another. The Axel. Have. Oh. I meant to press this. Have. Nope. Have this nice thing. Here we go. Oh yeah, isn't doesn't Tom Luke want us to do like a celebration or something? We try and do that. See what he has to say. Hold a ceremony. <laughs> ceremony for a bridge. I mean, out of all of these, the museum is probably the best. My, my my character's eyes looking a little worse for wearing this one. Good for us. We're amazing. Woo. Easy done. Ceremony complete, baby. <laughs> That's something against my eye, dude.
I wonder what uh, Gulliver's up to. He'll probably appear again at some point. I think we've mostly exhausted pretty much everything we can do today. Bit of a shorter day. Not that short though. Still three hours. Yeah, this really is the type of game where you kind of, you got to do it in like daily stretches because it kind of limits what you can do per day. Well, it doesn't actually. You just kind of run out of things, you know? We ran out of things, like I would say like a while ago, we tend to be going to islands and stuff like that. But we're mostly waiting for the objectives to catch up and for us to make money, which... Oh, shit. My bad. But you just do so by playing the game. You know? Being optimal. You know, if this is actually going to be where this is placed, I kind of want to move it. Get off it. Thank you. It also feels like we still haven't unlocked a majority of the option uh, a majority of the options we can do. You know? So, cause like I notice people are able to gift their island their islanders things. And I can't for some reason. I have to do it via ladder. So it seems a bit odd. So I guess we're just not that far into it and we haven't really unlocked much. I did say it earlier, but I think we're in the in-between point where we haven't unlocked everything, but we've unlocked enough to kind of get going. We haven't reached the full extent yet. Like, we just, we basically just got introduced to, uh, crafting. No, sorry, customization. Speaking of that, let's go and see if we can customize the workbench at all. Materials, fuck. God, you need actual crafting materials. Thank you. You know, it'll probably be a lot easier just to put down a crafting bench to walk out here and go to this one. Nook Miles, what did we get?
You know, our place looks like kind of really nice, actually. But I like it. I mean, I wish it was more. There was more going on in the middle, and it wasn't just like a clusterfuck at the back here. But I think overall, it's pretty good. Mostly done for tonight. All right. I think I am ready, and we can play it again tomorrow, probably. All right. Well, let's see my menu loads. In a, a year. Here we go. Alright. Thanks for watching. I will see you tomorrow, probably, for more Animal Crossing. Uh, I'll probably stream something again later tonight. I'm not sure what. We'll see. Uh, and hopefully, there's uh, more to do tomorrow in the game. I, I kind of want to, I want I want to play it a lot more. I just wish that the the world would progress more than uh, in the middle of a day or more than the end of, more blah, blah, blah speak properly. I just wish the world would progress in the middle of the day rather than at the end of the day. You know, so we have something to do. But oh well, we'll see you tomorrow might do like some playing offline nothing much is again it's shit can't progress in the middle of the day so you won't miss anything all right see you later thanks for watching